Hey! You know we what? are live, Scott. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Let me go on here because here's the deal. Like, I oh, my phone just made that noise. Y'all, my phone <laughs> oh, was just talking to Jennifer. My phone, like, I woke up this morning and it, like, when I get a notification, like a text message or like yeah. I'm deleting an email, it makes this really soft but high pitched. Like, it's almost kind of like if you were taking mm -hmm. a, like a metal pen and like hitting a piece of like hitting it's what i imagine a diamond sounds like if if it's hit with a needle oh it's no. like this really kind of hot i don't like it oh um, no hey marie hi welcome guys we're just talking about how our phones are doing weird stuff yeah weird things all together so oh my gosh good evening Hey, hey, Lisa. How are you? Hi, everybody. Lord see, Paul. I can't see. Oh, there can we go. Okay, I got it over here. Everyone? I can see over. I have my laptop to the side. <laughs> is your is your volume down, Scott? Over there. It's all the way down. Oh, perfect. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yay! You made it. Hi, welcome, guys. Welcome, Hi, Gloria. Okay, I'm um, gonna stop looking at it because I'll be doing this all night long. Because, and he's waving to the the wrong place. Yes, I'm going, hey, we're here. Hi, Marie. It's good to see you. Oh, and Gloria, Texas. Hey, what part of Texas? What part of Texas? Um, Happy New Year, everybody. I haven't. I have been kind of MIA. Oh. Uh, December the 16th when I started my PTO, my personal time off. Um, and I've been very slow to come back to even Instagram and to social media. So I'm excited to be back. And be yeah, we especially. We missed you yeah. like a lot. Oh. A lot, a lot. Oh. I'm like, I know you're on vacation, yeah. but you need, you need to come back. <laughs> you need to answer my Instagram yeah. message I just sent you. And that's another thing. If anybody can tell me on here tonight, I took the Instagram icon off of my phone. I didn't yeah. delete the app. I did, just took it off my homepage. I don't know how to get it back on here. So I'm always having to look for a notification to get um, on here. Uh, Whatever. That happens. First world too. problems, right? I know. I know. Speaking of. Houston. You have been slow like a turtle. <laughs> yeah, I've been slow like a turtle, and that's on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay! I'm we are too. Oh my gosh. So, speaking of the snowstorm of like 2021. Oh, I think we may have. <laughs> well, okay, right okay. Here. It's the only one, Scott. We're, we're, we're being positive. <laughs> um, we may be getting snow Thursday here in Dallas. Fingers I crossed. Heard. Oh fingers, my gosh. All my fingers are crossed. All my toes are crossed. Like you want it. My legs are crossed. Yes, I want some snow in Dallas. All it has been doing here is raining, 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 raining. And like, that's all we get here. And maybe some ice. Sorry, these curls are like a little woo. Um, that Superman curl right there. I <laughs> like one dude right right here. Um, yeah. So I mean, rain, but it floods when it rains because yeah. we're like on thirteen. We're thirteen miles above sea level. So for for us, it's it's a lot of rain, you know. So. Yeah. Oh my gosh! You have tons in New York, Ika. Hey, girl. Send some this way, please. I mean, <laughs> hey, 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 Constance Malott. Yeah. <laughs> I know she wants some of it in Atlanta as well. Oh, my. She all the snow. <laughs> uh, you can have. Oh, <laughs> you're slow. You have all That's what is going people on? People in the South, we don't get it. I mean, we get it, like, every once in yeah. a blue moon. Like, we haven't, here in Dallas, like, I think, the last big snow that we had was like 2014 or 15 because I I was working with Shantikai and I was supposed yeah. to fly to Miami to do a trend show. 
at Nordstrom down in, um, in Miami. And I was supposed to fly out Friday morning and it snowed Thursday night, early Friday morning. And I remember calling my boss and I was like, Hey, um, we've got like eight inches of snow here in Dallas. And she's like, okay, just, you know, take your time going to the airport. And, and I'm like, no, understand. no, like we don't drive. We shut down. <laughs> we don't no. drive anywhere. We, we don't go anywhere. Drive. <laughs> no, we can't drive in snow. All we know no. is to go get milk and bread and then just hunker down. Like that's all we can do. We had yes. snow and an ice storm yesterday. Ooh, that's kind of going to be us this coming up week um, here in Dallas. It's going to be cold this week. Yo, oh, oh, I can't imagine. Oh my gosh. It like gives me like anxiety just thinking about all the snow. <laughs> um, oh, it's not good. Oh, 40%. It's now 40% chance of oh. snow. Is that more or less? That's more because it was only 30. So we have mm -hmm. four chances in 10 that it's going to, it's going to be like 16 degrees and 18, 19, 23 next week. Wow. Yeah. But I'll be working from the comfort of my home. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay. So speaking of the snow, I never, oh, I didn't even say what happened. So my box, my order got stuck in the snow, but Scott, you have the goods over there. Don't you? <laughs> He's going to show us the brand new collection. You guys, I'm so pumped about it. And I mean, look at that. That butterfly is. This is still in the box. Actually, I took it. I put it back in the box. I don't know why. But look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I mean. This is a blue Cephas ringlet butterfly. Yeah. Uh, and I can't remember the name of the flower. Um, and I just got an email. All of you go on over the weekend if you want, um, if you like to read and things like that, which you don't even have to like to read to do this, but go on veranda.com, Veranda Magazine. Veranda. Sylvie, Sylvie just did an interview with them and it's all about butterflies mm -hmm. and it's all about her gardening and how much she loves it and how much it inspires her. Yeah. And I was just scanning it literally right before we jumped on here. Um, and it's, it's, it's a good read. It's a nice little article and there's pictures of her garden and things like that in there. So check it out. And it I kind love of tells that. you the story of, I'll tell it tonight, but you can get a little bit more information directly from her mouth right. of why she chose, why we're doing this and the cause and all that. Right. No, that's awesome. I'm, I, I'm so excited for my new ride. I know some people here have already gotten theirs and are just absolutely smitten with it. Um, right. Let's see. Oh my gosh. They're all doing butterfly. Oh, hey, Lexi. Hi, Lexi. Oh, oh it's so stunning. It really is. <laughs> yes, bring on spring, Christy. That's what I'm talking about over here. <laughs> oh, yes, same, Amelia. Me too. I think y'all had um, issues with shipping and the snow and everything being shut down for yeah. a couple of days, right? Yeah. Oh, yay. Love, love, love butterflies. Hey, Duff. Oh, yes, I saw that, Ika. She put butterflies on her reel like it's so pretty. Oh, cool. And guys, or like, I should say ladies, well, guys too, if you're on here, anybody who's listening to the sound of my voice, um, <laughs> we have, uh, are they, is it pronounced Giffy? Gif, Gif, Giffy? Gifs? Yes. These little like, animations like on instagram yeah. and stuff yeah you, can go you in have them now we have them so you can actually go in it's all about the butterflies like i just put one when i posted about this I oh i didn't know that yeah oh my so God. go in there go under the giphy if i'm pronouncing that correctly it's gif is it gif i think so okay right? it ain't gippy so it's got to be giphy <laughs> um is it a is it a gif or a guy for a gippy <laughs> I don't know. Um, I never. I don't know. I'm not in with the. I don't I'm know. Not either. <laughs> like I, I would. I would be one of those people that says, uh, you know, those memes instead of a meme. <laughs> Did Did say you that. Commercial. <laughs> that is how, or that little somebody was like, you know, the meme. I did say that though. That's a terrible thing. Yeah. <laughs> They're 
make it fun of you. Angela, <laughs> Angela said it's GIF SB. Okay, thanks, Angela. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, I knew I mean, if she was on here, she would be the one correcting me. So you know, you I mean, you know, my daughter did tell me she is almost double digits this year. So <laughs> I mean, I'm How not. Does that make you feel, Mom? <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, the don't palace. Don't say things like that to mommy. Don't say that. That's so nice. I know. I good know. Good for you, but not good for me. No, oh. it's fine. You're, you are young. You're. Thanks. You're just a young chicken. I'm, yes. I'm the old man here. Hello. <laughs> not really. Yeah. Um, oh goodness. What was it going to you say? You look very stringy today, Scott. I think you I just was in the closet just before this picking out my wardrobe ensemble. And I was like, I'm going to wear this really pretty little, it's little lemons. Yeah. Um, a little I lemon like shirt, that. a little yellow, I, a little green. Be a little festive. I noticed. Yeah. Thank you for it noticing very that. Very nice. Yes. I like it. Very nice. Okay. So these, okay. Speaking of like butterflies and everything like that. So, Let's talk about the colors. Like, what kind of, why? Why these colors, you think? Um, I think part of it, um, and this is just me guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's kind of in the message of uh, what um, Sylvie and Olivia and Alex have all said, is that it is, it's a time of rebirth. It's a mm -hmm. time of uplifting it's, yeah, uh, it's a happy time. So I think in these, I mean, these colors, I just took all the tops off. Um, these took colors the are very, like, very oh. bright and oh. springy and just, yes. you know, they exude light. Yes, uh, so I, think I love that. that. Um, the actual colors, I think, are always um, in line with what you're seeing on um, in store and yes. fashion uh, for spring. Yes. Uh, and early summer and stuff. And so, and it's also something that when they choose colors, they choose them because they want it to mimic skin, but they want it to enhance. Yeah. They want to make your skin beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so that's why they, they really are very particular in the colors that they choose. They, they want something that mimics nature, that mimics your own beauty and not, not be, I mean, hello. We do have this bright green. I know it's a it's chrome. a it's, it, I was I mean, reading that's it's that, a trio. Okay. I see this trim yard. Everything's on the opposite side when you go to pump point at it. <laughs> this color. Which, let me get it. Ah, there you go. You can see it probably a little better there. It's a uh, triple chrome pigment. Yeah. Put it on my hand. My ring light is uber bright tonight. There we go. Okay, there you go. You so it's see. like gold. Gold that has green. Green. There's a little bit of pink. Uh, there's a little bit of a peach tone to it as well. Oh my God, my ring light. <laughs> there we go. You can kind of see. Yeah. So you can kind of see that when I turn I can it. I see the green. In. I'm sorry. My poor hands are just about had it from washing them and stuff. Um but this color, Olivia was inspired by, and Sylvie too, um, butterfly wings. They had that luminescence to them, yes, that yes. iridescence, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And so she wanted to put something in here that was uh, very uh, reminiscent of like a butterfly's beautiful wings. Oh, um, yeah. So you notice like when you see a butterfly's wings on some of them, like when, you, when they move, it changes color. And so that's why this one in particular color was in the palette. Yeah. And I, I was already warned ahead of time, ladies, that you may want me to put some of this stuff on. <laughs> so we may get into that in a little bit. I didn't know that was going to be this kind of YouTube live, but I'm not sure. Whatever. Well, I mean, I was going to do it, but you know, the snowstorm. Oh, she didn't get her product. I know. Oh. It's just like, ugh, I mean, it happens, right? I know, I mean, it does. I our, like our, warehouse, our warehouse was shut down for two Oh, <laughs> they're really, they're really sad for you. They're like, poor Scott. <laughs> we uh the colors are stunning, so beautiful. Yeah, very pretty oh. colors. 
They love uh, it. You have a, a, a light taupe, a little bit deeper, kind of a taupey shade. Yeah. Kind of a soft, kind of a marigold, uh, peachy tone. And then the, uh, the beautiful trichrome, um, iridescent, kind of a greenish gold shade. It's really pretty. So uh, do you feel like, I'm sorry, Scott, do you feel like you could wear them all together? And could you wear them all by themselves? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's something you can wear all four. Uh, or you could wear one, you could wear two, three. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different ways that you can play this up. So we may get to, um, Connie loves it. it no, so, okay, so Constance um, is my partner in crime. <laughs> um, she is uh, in Atlanta. Um, and Connie um, always celebrates her 29th birthday. So we're not going to go there about that, but because she'll kill me when she gets a hold of me. Um, um, she wore it the other day and it was so pretty, This, especially this green mm -hmm. all over. She had it on her lid and then had taupey colors in her crease. It was yeah. really, really pretty. And she's very fair, uh, blonde. I believe she has blue eyes or green eyes. Oh, um, I can't remember what color your eyes are. I feel bad now. Um, uh, but she has these beautiful eyes and stuff. And so it looked really, really pretty on her. And then I saw another coworker of mine that had it on and it was, yes, she is. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a really pretty palette, you know? Yes. Every darn year. Three lips. <laughs> Every darn year she's 29. I know, Lisa, she is. So the oh. lip cheeks. So before yes. we get into the color, let me okay. talk about the cause. Okay. So this collection is, if you haven't guessed it, based around butterflies. So butterflies, along with honeybees and other bees, um, are other insects that are attracted to flowers. Um, they help pollinate um, a lot of our food. One in three bites is a direct result from a pollinator. So um, we are very... Um, we're very excited to be working with Xerxes Society. Xerxes, we've worked with in the past for the butterfly collection back in 2014. Mm -hmm. um, and Einstein once said that if the bee or the pollinators disappear, man will follow four years later. So that's how much our food sources rely on these incredible little creatures to help yeah. pollinate everything from almond trees to our fruits, our vegetables. Wow. So much of our food relies on these little winged creatures to get pollen from one flower to the next so that they can they can make uh, uh, the food that we need, like yeah. the fruits and the, uh, the almonds and things like that. So they're super important. Um, and I just discovered, I read an article just a few weeks ago um, that they have finally figured out how a butterfly flies. Because oh. its wings are so much larger than its body, that huh. air, like aerodynamically, it shouldn't happen or it shouldn't be able to happen, but their hmm. wings actually clap So when they fly. So their wings clap when they're flying around and stuff. So it's it was a really cool, interesting read. They're wonderful creatures. There's um, sadly the possibility that 30% of them may go extinct because of the loss mm -hmm. of natural food habitats. So that's where we get involved. So right. we're partnering with Xerxes Society to help provide um, enough pollinator kits to help uh -huh. protect 40 acres of land in the California Central Valley. So that doesn't mean that we're like the, the Asomi where we bought the 75 acres with the hummingbirds last spring. This, it's not 40 acres together. It's 40 yeah. acres of pollinator kits. And what that means is, let's say you are a city and you have a park and you want to designate part of that park as a natural habitat for butterflies and bees and things of that nature, like a wildflower uh, portion. We will actually help pay, for, we will pay for the kits for these people to be able to help protect at least 40 acres of land um, for these amazing creatures. And one thing that, um, I've been driving back and forth between Alabama where my mom lives in Texas and along the interstate, 
a lot of this is thank you to Lady Bird Johnson. She was very instrumental in protecting wild spaces um, and the pollinators and wildflowers here in Texas. When you're going down the highway, it, there are signs that tell the mowers, stop, it says, stop mowing. And that means don't cut any of this natural habitat down. It's for the flowers, right. it's for the, the birds, it's for all the animals, and it's also for the pollinators as well to help protect that natural habitat. Right, right. Um, we in the past have done like even a seed program where you would come to an event and we would give you a little packet of wildflowers, seeds for you to plant in your garden or put on your patio uh, to help feed. The, but we realized that you can't do that across different flowers can't cross different state lines, which is really, I never knew that. I didn't know that. The only one flower that is a supposedly native or can cross borders is the sunflower. And I didn't know that. So what? if you want to send, yeah. If you want to send a flower to someone uh, to help create or help protect the pollinators in their area, send them a sunflower. So it's a great uh, flower to do that. I did not realize that. I have two planters out on my patio that I am repurposing and I'm going to, I've already got some wildflower seeds that I'm going to be planting. So yeah. as soon as first of March gets here. So you can, everybody can do something no matter yeah. where you live, right. what you live in, whether it's a house or it's an apartment or a townhouse, whatever the case may be, you can do something on your patio, something very small, just do a planter of wildflowers. Um, and it really helps attract butterflies. It helps attract birds as well. Yeah. Um, and other honeybees and things that are so important and they need our help. Um, you know, the wildfire, the wildfires in California were a big part of why, um, we're doing this because a huge part of their natural habitat was destroyed in these fires that California keeps getting, um, yeah. inundated with it. every year it seems like there's yeah. always going to be a bigger one year after year unfortunately yeah. hopefully things are changing and that'll stop okay now for the color so with okay. the purchase of each one of the lip sheets uh, money will be given uh, we will be raising the money to buy the pollinator kits uh, to help protect 40 acres in California Central Valley so, That's cool. yeah lip sheets so peach blossom which is the one in kind of the the milky chartreuse green shade. It's a really pretty soft coral. You can Ooh. see really pretty. Yes. And then we have clover, which is in the, yeah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, no, okay. Go. Clover, go. which is kind of a really pretty soft pink. It's in the milky uh, or uh, the minty green uh, shade. It's called clover. It's my favorite formula, like Mine ever. Too. I mean, honestly, it is so good. All right, I'm going to put my patience back on. Okay. Sorry. And then we have hyssop, or as a Ooh. colleague of mine, I don't know if she's watching, we were going to joke around with it on our trainer's call and be like, hyssop, <laughs> it's hyssop. Um, it's in the kind of the purple uh, casing. So you have hyssop, which is like this really kind of a beautiful dusty road, this deeper yeah. nude. I'm trying to get my hand. So it's the bottom one. It look, I, I got that one. I have to turn weird. Like you got this one. I got that one. And I got the one on top. The yeah, only one I didn't get was the middle one. I didn't know. I didn't know for me if the middle one would be too. Um, coral. Coral. Yeah. So you it's have. It's beautiful though. I really like it. It is pretty. Clover, peach blossom, and then hyssop. Hyssop. Uh -huh. Up? These are all flowers that butterflies, bees love. Um, so they're really pretty so colors. Cool. You know, it's interesting. So for me, like I always thought like the lip veils were in that pack type of packaging, but now they're making the lip sheets in that packaging. So this packaging originally, the, the magnetic, the square, because yeah. most yeah. of our lipsticks are in the, the round. Yeah, yeah I have yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And they're all at, like the lip sheets are usually in this kind of like the metal. Dark gun metal, yeah. Yeah. And then I, the lipstick is in, in the this. silver. Yeah. So, and this is like. Connie, if she's still on here, tell us how much we love those lipsticks. She loves that formula. <laughs> I love this. Okay. Sorry. Okay. No, it's okay. But, uh, but since we came out with the lip veils, which are the dark purple 
um, I don't have one right here with me, but they're the magnetic casing. Um, every like limited edition color that's come out since then has been in this rec the square yeah. magnetic limited edition. And I edition. love that packaging. It's so pretty. It is. Mm -hmm. And I, I'll be honest with you, when I first saw these colors in like a picture, I was like, I'm not a pastel person. I don't like pastels. But in person, oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Like I am immediately yeah. attracted to this. Yeah. I'm immediately I'm attracted to all four of them. Oh, I think they're beautiful. I think they're very so pretty. Apropos. And this then the compact with a beautiful uh butterfly on the outside, and then it has this chartreuse green <gasps> trim. It's really pretty. It's just oh my really gosh. It's it's like gorgeous. reflective trident for me. Very much so. I wonder if that was done on purpose. I think there was some thought behind it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was just a random, you know what? We have this color laying around. Oh, yeah. Let's we just should just throw that on there. Up. No, I think it was definitely done on purpose. <laughs> Very okay. much so. Hold on, let's see. Colors are beautiful. Texture's amazing. Lexi's lip sheets are her favorite, too. Me, too. Hey, Vicky. Let's see. Oh, I, love love I love that lash shade. Yes. Uh, Hissa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like that deep, really pretty. You know what? For the heck of uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. Let's see it. Yeah. Let's see it. It's really hard. I normally don't do this. <laughs> it looks good. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty shade. It is. Feels what, great. what kind of what would you what's the undertone of that is it more of a um it's a deep um brown like a rosy brown yeah like rose i would say rose right yeah. it's really it looks more rose on you yeah it's deep though it's not a light shade yeah um, it looks neutral yeah which you like a neutral see. deeper shade dog i hate this thing <laughs> Oh, I'm always trying to show the picture. And I know the other night Lisa was with Sean K. Sean Beauty. Yeah. And she was like trying to show something. Let me put it on the back of this hand and you can see it probably better. Oh. There you go. So oh, you can see yes. it's a D. It's like this. Ooh, that's my shade. I love that kind and of This shade. is definitely one of your shades. And Vicky, this will be beautiful on you too. It's like, um, I like that kind of shade. <laughs> and then we'll do clover again. So yeah, I'll let's put it on clover. the back of this hand. <laughs> Just think of how moisturized. Let me get my compact. <laughs> Just think of how moisturized your lips are going to feel. Uh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Uh oh. I like that a lot. It looks good. Connie, don't you dare take a picture. Well, I mean, who am I kidding? This is going to be up on the internet forever. So if I ever run for uh, office, okay, you all can be there. Okay, guess what? He has really here. nice lips with the the beer oh, yeah it looks good hot. i like that shade i really like that shade it is it's a pretty pink yes feels great and for those of you who don't know lip chic the formula actually has hyaluronic acid so it actually helps hydrate your lips so it's kind of like a lipstick awesome. and a lip gloss out of baby yeah and it's it's why i love it i mean it lasts but i mean it is a lipstick yeah. So, I mean, you're going to have to reapply, but so I don't the, like that. So there's clover. So we have clover and then we have hyssop. Okay. Now, okay. peach blossom. Hey, I Not my shade. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to look lovely. Eileen says she can't wait to get her hands on these. Eileen, I know. They're so pretty. So here we go with peach blossom. People, everyone's loving clover. Vicky and Raina love clover. 
Lisa got the picture, just an FYI. Uh -huh, great. <laughs> oh, you did show Clover on the back of your hand, didn't you? Mm -hmm. It's the pink yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Clover. Clover and then Hyssop is the darker one. Yeah. So this, mm. Yeah. Not my color. <laughs> That's okay. I mean... You know, if I'm wearing something warm, warm undertones, I can it's, pop on the peach blossom. Yeah, I, I, it would look good, like on, like a, a tan I think a skin. Deeper, yeah, like a deeper. Yeah, I agree. Not me. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't say that's my favorite on you out of the three. Just you know. <laughs> but it looks, yeah. it looks good. Okay. It is pretty though. Oh. Peach blossom. Okay. Clover. Okay. And then hyssop. I love I and love three really pretty shades, three very different. Yeah. Um, so something for everybody. Yeah, it's so pretty. Who wore it? <laughs> yes, Raina. I think we already um, know the answer to that. <laughs> Scott, of course. I mean, come Whoa. on. Oh. <laughs> Did it bring out the white in my beard? <laughs> I don't know. I mean. <laughs> Christopher Plummel died today. I know. I was going to. The gonna dad from the sound of music. I know. <laughs> Gosh, let's just throw a like. I know. I, did, I don't know for whatever reason. I just thought of that. <laughs> I was going to play you. you. know what this means. <laughs> I, I was going to play you a song. Oh, from the sound of music? Yeah. Oh. Vice. <laughs> Vice. It's a okay. great movie. Okay, sorry. So, oh, oh, Ika got Clover in the Peach. Good. That's going to look good. I love peach blossom. It's beautiful on you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Lisa. <laughs> Clover is our favorite, but you never know. Yeah, you don't. I mean, you never know until you try them on, honestly. That's the thing. You just don't know. So, Ooh, it's beautiful on top of hyssop. Oh, can we see that, Scott, please? I just want to, I mean, just for Scott's I mean, you just need to I make think sure. I'm being played here. <laughs> I really do. That's for science. I mean, you know. <laughs> Lisa, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Peach Blossom's your favorite. You order Clover. You can't get, wait to get it. Let's see. Scott should model these on the site. Wouldn't that be hot? <laughs> They'd have to pay me a lot of money. <laughs> Clover. Okay, so we have hyssop. And then we have, we're going to put peach blossom on top. I know, Eileen. That's what happened to mine, too. Peach blossom. They're liking peach blossom. Hey, hey, hey. This actually is very pretty, Lisa. That is very nice. It's that looks good. Hyssop first with peach blossom on top. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. Which one has the more brownie color? Hyssop. Hyssop. Oh, they're on peach the Peach blossom and clover are brighter. Uh, I love you too, Eileen. Thank you. <laughs> Clover I, is more I of a like pink. That. You can kind of see up against my sweater. And then uh, peach blossom is more of a coral. You yeah. You can kind of see the difference. That looks very springy on you. I and like that. that. <laughs> when you do your eyes like that, it's just cracking me up. <laughs> I'm a nerd. I always love like mixing up the color. <laughs> The top and the bottom always. That would be that. like my OCD would be like, I'd be like, ah. Uh, can't do that. 
<laughs> can't do that. Can't. Yeah, see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make that. Isn't that cool? Look how pretty that is. It's magic. Anyone else? Oh, uh, <laughs> they're liking the combination. Oh, there you go. Love the cross pollinating of yes, the. Yes, Raina. Uh oh. Raina for the win. Uh oh. <laughs> That is hilarious. Hey, Mindy. Oh, goodness. Hold on. Oh, love that. So perfect for Cross the Cross pollinating these. Y'all need to cheese. use that. Y'all need to use that. Cross pollinating. Yeah, we're cross pollinate <laughs> some hyssop and some peach blossom. <laughs> okay, ladies. So we're going to talk oh. about the eyeshadow. Now do your eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. I'm so bad. You know what? I'm gonna kill people at the warehouse that couldn't get you your order in time. Even though there was a blizzard. No. We're gonna do some swatches on the back of the hand first, okay? Got it. Okay, so the first shade that I'm gonna do is the lighter taupe up in let's call it color number one. Okay. Because you're there is a vellum that comes with it so that's um <gasps> okay. okay oh my gosh and shade number two the uh triple chrome i mean if my ring light wasn't so dang bright you could see it a little better but there you go that's amazing like that first shade is like a one and done too yeah all over the lid bring it up to the crease and get a liner <laughs> mascara go yeah we may try that first tonight <laughs> we'll do a day look a very um yeah day day to night yeah and so now i'm going to do color number three which is the peachy shade Oh yeah, uh huh. They're really pretty. Ooh yeah. And then last but not least, we're gonna do the darker shade, the dark S, I should say. I feel like peach is hard to a hard shade. It do is. you feel like that? Yeah, it is. Like it either Ooh. makes you look sick, or it's just so like fairy tale and beautiful and. Very springy. Yes. Is it peachy pink? No, it's like a true peach. Okay, true peach. There's not, I don't, I'm blinded by the light. Um, <laughs> no, there's no really, I mean, for those that have it, you can please comment. Uh, and my colleagues that'll never let me live this down. Um, <laughs> there, it's a peach. Like there's not, there's not like a, poorly pink is like a true peach. Okay. Yeah. You know what, Scott? I can actually put you on the big screen there too. Oh, Lord have mercy. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, I, I think like... they can see me quite fine. <laughs> um, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> Eileen's so excited. I'm so crazy excited for this. <laughs> So I'm using our camouflage stilo. Okay. You think it's a peachy pink? I don't see any pink in it, Lisa. I just see peach. Well, we'll find out when I put it on my eyes. How about that? Yeah. So I'm using a little bit of camouflage stilo as an eyeshadow base. Okay. <clears throat> now, do you set that with a powder? No, I don't. Okay. Because I don't use a lot of it. Okay. Uh, let me rephrase that. I don't tell my customers use a lot of it. Right. This is literally, this isn't the first time I put eyeshadow on. I'm going to admit that. But I, I mean, I don't wear makeup, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I will tell you that I did get up in the bathroom the other night when I got this. Mm -hmm. And I did play with it. Yeah. But only my dog saw me. <laughs> so you can already see immediately there's a big difference. 
Yes. And I didn't use a lot. And I always kind of always recommend coming in this inner corner. What shade are you using in your concealer? Number three. Yeah, that's what I have. <laughs> Yay for Scott. He's putting on eyeshadows for us. <laughs> okay, MK. <laughs> Just for us, though. Just, you saw it here <laughs> for the first time. Okay. So you can really definitely see like a huge difference in my eyes. Like it's definitely brighter. Um, let's go ahead and do the other one. And I can tell, I will go ahead and tell y'all right now, I will not be good with this eye because I am not, um, I just like put it in my eye. <laughs> Just then, just so y'all know, and see, I get way too much on. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. I, I mean, you were saying then, you were going to use a lot, but I mean, that's like the whole pin. <laughs> yeah. The <cheerio. laughs> Okay, now, people are asking. Hey, 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 see, the mouth is open. <laughs> you're doing this. Does it crease, Scott? What does? The, the makeup? I mean, the concealer no here if you use too much yes you don't need a lot what yeah i always say is that you want to achieve yeah i'm not going to be doing this eye because i've already poked myself in the eye like three times <laughs> uh just by doing this one layer um if you want enough to just kind of like even out your eyelid and kind of make it even if think of think of eyeshadow base or think of your concealer on your eyelid which is what we use, or like even a little bit of Future Skin Foundation in the jar. Yeah, um, actually right Think now. of it, yes. You can take just a little bit of that and do that on the eyelid as a shadow base. You mm -hmm. don't want much because you want to think about this. You're putting a powder on top of a cream or liquid. And if you get too much of either one, or if you get too much of the liquid, if you go to put that powder on there, you're going to be making biscuits. Like we're making, well, where did I go? Right. Sorry, they want you closer to the camera so oh they can God. see you. Hold on, let me what? let me um, do this for you. Can you see him better? I hate y'all. <laughs> hate everything. <laughs> Hold on, let me figure it out. Further away. Okay. There is that better? Me and my glory. Um, I'll see Scott better. So as you can see, it does increase. I use a very small, small amount. And you can always come back with your finger and lightly just blend out if you do get too much, okay? You want just enough to kind of even out your eyelid, all right? You don't want it to be like white. You right. Want it to look like your skin, your skin tone. Sorry, I just dropped my concealer. <laughs> um, I, don't, I can hear you, but I can't see you, which is weird for me. Hold on. There you no. Hi, Lisa. No. Mm -mm. Thank you, Raina. No, I'm a good sport. Okay. Make mm, you can see very... really good. <laughs> yes, it's better. Definitely. Okay, good. <laughs> I really they like your last name. So this is Gerardo. Ooh. Which means to the left in Spanish. Lily Bet. Oh, I love that name. Were you on our <laughs> chat this week? Because I kept seeing the name Lily Bet. I love that name. It's um, short for Elizabeth. A lot of times people, um, it's like a nickname for Elizabeth, but it's so pretty. I just got Very texted beautiful. a picture. Uh oh. I'm going to kill you, Constance. <laughs> so. Okay, so I have a naked eye. I'm gonna go into um, this kind of the lighter shade. Yeah, that's beautiful. First, are we doing all over? All over? Like from lash to brow? No. Like the one? Okay, I'm sorry. You do okay. you. Are you gonna tell me how to do my eye? <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking what what we were doing. I'm so when you your compact, when you look at it, it's gonna be like that. So I'm going to go into the color up here in the very top left-hand corner. 
Okay. A shade one. Like I was saying, there's a vellum that's going to come. And this right. vellum is going to have them numbered one, two, three, four. And it goes from left to right. Okay. Uh, top to bottom. So I'm going to take our um, eye definer brush. Yeah. Which is kind of like a, some people call them like a ponytail brush. Yeah. And take a little bit. And I'm just going to go <laughs> right into my crease with it. Now, would you say, so is there a suggested way to apply them? Like, have we come out with a look? Yeah. Yeah, it's on our website. You can go oh, okay. on to uh, probably the product landing page. Okay. Um, or you can definitely go to the magazine. And I think there is a look, if I'm not mistaken, for those of you who work for us that are on here, will y'all do that real quick while I'm doing this? Please, thanks. Appreciate you doing your part tonight as I do my eyeshadow. So <laughs> I always say start in the outer corner and work your way in like a windshield wiper back and forth. Let the brush yeah, do the work, okay? The brush does all the work and it finds your natural crease. One little trick, yes, it's left, um, is to kind of tilt your head up and look down in your mirror because it lets you see all the real estate that you have. So right. look, be a snob, look down your nose into the mirror <laughs> and like a little windshield wiper back and forth. Beautiful. And if you can, it's a good idea to be able to rest your elbow on like your countertop. So if you can have a mirror that's either um, um, counter level or whatever, that's the best. So very easy, very quick look right here. Imagine that with some mascara a liner for a quick look. <laughs> I will drive to Houston tomorrow morning <laughs> and I will come down there and I will hurt you. Okay? <laughs> I have your address. Good to Thank see you, you Lexi. Thank Lexi. you for coming, sweetheart. Miss you. I like that. I like that shade a lot. It looks good with your eye color, Scott. Yeah, it makes my eyes bluer. I know. It's beautiful. Okay. So All we've right. We've done the first shade, which is this guy. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to take a little bit, and I'll be honest with you, this is the first time I've done it. So, yeah. Just playing. Just playing. Now I'm going to take the peachy shade. Okay. Being creative. Being creative. And I'm going to actually take our basic eyeshadow brush, which as you can see, it is kind of cut or yeah. flat, uh, at an angle and then it's flat on that end. So it's almost kind of like a horse's hoof, like a horse hoof brush. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the bottom of it and go into the peachy color and I'm just getting it on the very bottom and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna press it right into the ball of the eye because I want to brighten that up. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. Scooch over just a bit, Scott. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, that's pretty. That's that's very, that's pigmented for a peachy shade too. Yeah. And if you notice, like if you want to build up more color, press it in. Don't uh -huh. rub it in. Okay. Press it because you can create more color, um, more pigment layer on top of layer. Because when you brush or like when you rub like a blush on, you're rubbing sure. it off basically. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to go into the darkest shade. And I'm going to use our, this is called the eye blend brush. Okay. So it's, as you can see, it's kind of a dome shape. It's, you turn it also, it's flat. So yeah. Use one side. That one's really good. And I'm strictly going to take that right in to where my crease is. So looking down in that outer corner. Now you could do this as the last step if you wanted. So I'm going to give you that smoky eye, Angela. So I'm coming a little bit right here on my lash 
applying and then pulling up pulling up that is pretty who are you talking to <laughs> well 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 la ti da <laughs> And the reason I'm using this brush, another reason is because it's a short bristle brush. Right. The shorter the brush, the more product it's going to apply. Okay. So think of it like when you were uh, a kid and you were coloring in a coloring book, you know, when you take the crayon and you'd really press down hard, how yeah. dark it would be and how much color you would get. And yeah. then like if you barely just took your hand and just kind of very softly kind of, it's almost like a wash of color. Mm -hmm. So the shorter the bristle, the more dense of an application you're going to get uh, from whatever you're applying. The longer the hair, the more sheer the application. Okay. So mm -hmm. always kind of keep that in mind. You just got your order. Oh my gosh. Yay. Oh, good. It's so, sultry, Lisa says. It is sultry. Arena asks, could you use that color as a soft liner? Well, you know what? I'm going to pop it on the bottom. Uh-oh. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Watch out. I'm going to use the same little brush that I just did because it kind of comes to a tip or a point. Okay. Do you feel like it's it's a little um, almost purple pulls? Yeah, it has a little bit of a purple undertone to it. Yeah, it's really pretty. Angela says it's really pretty. I agree. It looks really good on you. Scott. There you go. Can you see me? Yeah. You <laughs> I was like, <gasps> it is pretty. And then all I see is a little circle going around. <laughs> I have broken the internet. You didn't break the internet. <laughs> Me doing eye makeup has broken the internet. <laughs> Stop. Oh, um, Mindy asks, is this formula getting hard panned when I use my fingertip to apply, especially that metallic shimmer shade? Um, when you mean hard pan, like is it hard, is it packed? It's a very, it's a soft, um, it's a soft texture. Um, can you elaborate on that? I think she might mean like if you put your finger in it and all the oils from your finger are getting oh, in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't, I mean, you can, I think it'd be fine. I will tell you, I'm, I, now that you mentioned that, I am kind of seeing that by using my finger. So I would probably stick to, um, I would stick to using a brush. I, I understand mm -hmm. what you're saying. Yeah. Kind of like your pressed powder, like when you've after yeah. you used it for so long with a brush or a sponge. Right. The oils are. You're, you're transferring your oils from your face to your compact. Yeah. Yeah. I would stick to using brushes. Well, Eileen, you'll <laughs> be gorgeous in your little Easter dress, hunting all those <laughs> Easter eggs. Um, <laughs> you'll be and just a little be, butterfly and all your lipsticks will be in all in different colors you can mix and match them <laughs> yes got a little easter basket <laughs> that would be such a great easter basket right scott you know what that really would mm -hmm. are we liking this smoky eye i love it my uh, mother saw me right now. She would kill me. Thank God she doesn't have you too. <laughs> so I'm just taking a clean brush. Yeah. Kind of blending it. There we have it. So there's a very soft, natural, soft, well, not a natural, but a soft, smoky eye. But it's, but it's like, um, like chic, like sophisticated. Of course it is, girl. It's on me. <laughs> You look really chic and sophisticated. Very chic and fabulous on my lemon shirt and my <laughs> soft smoky eye here. Um, do I want to do eyeliner now or do we want to go into the green shade first? I don't know. Let's ask. Let's pull the. Let's do a poll. <laughs> let's take a poll. Let's don't do a poll. 
<laughs> Big difference. I'm actually going to go ahead and do some eyeliner. And if I get one more picture sent to me, while we take this poll. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, so okay. Weird. I have other palettes and they don't. Oh, oh, it's not hard panned. Got it. So your other ones haven't done that. Is what you're saying? Yes. It is beautiful. I agree. I have enough pictures to keep your mom. <laughs> Green shade. Scott, you look pretty. Thank you. Me too. Which, what eyeliner? Ooh, yes. Which eyeliner do you recommend? Um, I'm going to use amethyst, which is that kind of a purpley shade. Mm -hmm. You can definitely use like, um, black, I had a senior moment there. Um, <laughs> black forest would be beautiful with this. Yes. Um, really any of them. Earth, if you want a little bit more of a natural look, um, you could do Raven, always black. Oh, someone um, says Olive Brocade, Terry was saying. Olive Brocade would be gorgeous, especially with, with oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. They want to see the green shade. They want to see the green shade. You want to see the green shade? You don't want to see eyeliner yet? Okay. Yeah, not yet. Okay. You were trying to like, were you trying to make them antis like anticipation? It's going to make you ladies wait. <laughs> so I'm going to actually use our eyeliner brush. Now there's a couple of ways that you can use this green uh, triple yeah. chrome shade. Okay. Teach us. Um, you can use it as a liner. So <laughs> I'm actually going to um, take my rose water and I'm going to mist my eyeliner brush i get it soaking wet and then i'm going to kind of bring the water to the tip and then i'm just going to go in and i'm just going to use kind of like one side like one little corner i'm not going to get right in the middle okay because i don't know how this is going to right do okay so here we go lord help us okay Yes. I felt I, I felt like I should I didn't want to like mess you up. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> Ooh, I didn't think about using it as an eyeliner, Scott. That's a good idea. Pure genius right there. I mean how <laughs> fabulous does my eyeliner. <laughs> you're looking pretty good, I have to admit. I mean Dang. you're looking you're looking like hot to try. That looks really good. Like everyone's like, I'm convinced now this is fluttering into my card. I love that. Flutter right on in, girl. Okay, so you can see I kept it right at the lash line. Yeah. And only went about halfway. I didn't go the whole way. Yes. So here's a trick that I learn and I try and teach people and sometimes when I try I teach it I think they're like huh so when you start on the inner corner of your eye mm -hmm. you want the point of the the longer point to be in the inner corner right yeah so you can get it on there when you come over here you want to flip it and uh -huh. come back in to the middle uh-huh does that make sense uh-huh especially if you want to do a wing Oh, are you going to wing it out? No, I don't think so. Why not? Because I'm not good at that, actually. Oh. I've never been good at wing liner. It does take a... Um, it's, piece of tape? It's, no, it doesn't take a piece of tape. <laughs> Although that does work. No. no, it takes patience. Patience. Which I'm an Aries and I have none. <gasps> I am too. You are when's your birthday? March. March 28th? 27th. 
I think you and I have talked about this, haven't we? Yeah, we have talked about okay. this. Wait, what are you again? April 2nd. Oh my gosh, we're like right beside each other. Yeah. My birthday is Good Friday this year. Oh, yes. Okay, I can't. Hold on. So I've strictly just kept this along my lash line. Yes. And it's really pretty. And of course, you always want to kind of. It really brightens. Yes. Yes. Yeah, do that. That's, that is some metallic right there, girl. Yeah, but with, a, like, if you threw, like, a little bit of um, eyeliner in the waterline and then mascara, I think it would it would calm it down and not even look, like, as metallic as it really does. Well, I think I just wiped it all off. <laughs> Sheila asks for you to get closer. Your eyes are so blue right now. <laughs> it's insane. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Skills all the way for sure. Skills all the way. Hey there, handsome. Sheila hey. said. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Lord. I would definitely never be able to live this down. <laughs> Connie's saying you look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Cindy, have it. Have a good night. She said, Hi, "Thank darling. you, God, for hosting." Hey, I mean, good night. Party. I'm trying to find a. Um, hold on, I'm trying to find another brush that I want. It looks so good. And Sheila said, "Thank you." I love my Sheila. Gloria said, "Your eyes are popping." My eyes are popping tonight. <laughs> like a bottle of champagne. <laughs> that really is pretty, though. I like it. It looks really good. So I'm going to actually do eyeliner before I do something else. Um, so I'm going to come in the waterline. So you're going to do waterline eyeliner. Oh, my God. I've never done this to myself. <laughs> Seriously, y'all, I have never, I have never tight lined my eyes. Uh, <laughs> how do you do it? Raina said her mom just walked in and she said she asked what she was watching. I, think I would probably do the same thing. <laughs> um, Inka said, I'm so glad I, I saw the final result. Gotta run. Love you both. Scott, you're the best. Bye, darling. Take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Oh, um, does Neiman's have this new collection in store? They will any day now. It's on its way. Oh, Ika says she'll wait another three minutes. <laughs> she really wants I am crying. Like, how do y'all do this every day? <laughs> Are you okay? I mean, my makeup would be messed up every day. Like, Don't cry, Scott. <laughs> I'm just so gorgeous. I don't know what to do. Gosh, the colors are even more beautiful in person. Oh, yes, yeah, the eyes. I don't know which I'm is telling you, you're gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know which is more shiny if the shadow colors or Scott's eye color. Oh, oh you're so sweet. Now, I'm gonna come. now, this I can do all day long, but not top, but not the top. <laughs> you're gonna wake up in the morning, your eyes are gonna be bloodshot. I mean, for not, you know, you have to get used to it, I feel like. Yes, Neiman's has it. They will. It's on its way. Oh, Neiman's does have it? Angela said. So pretty. You're so pretty. I'm so pretty. I'm, I'm so pretty. pretty. And gay. <laughs> I'm so pretty. That's in the song. That's the song. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> Okay, so let's... You're not used to it, darling. I'm not. I'm not used to it at all. Our every a day... a delicate flower. Um, <laughs> like a butterfly. Like a butterfly. I don't have mascara out here with me. Oh, my. 
Can you hold for one second? Uh, of course. Hold on. Let me make sure that my, yeah, my apartment looks good. Ah! <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, thank you, guys. Such a wonderful. Angela okay. brought them in. We are still waiting. Neem in San Antonio got them today. Good. Okay. Good. Angela is saying you're such a wonderful sport. We appreciate you, Scott. You are taking one for the team right here, right now. Sure am. So that's kind of the look. I really like that. Uh, what would uh, your favorite shade is so far? Like just. I'm thinking actually the darker taupe. Yeah, I like that. I really like that. So or now the, I'm gonna oh, take, the first one you put on. Yeah. I like that too. Really pretty. It is. I'm now going to take that ponytail brush. Uh-huh. So just, on the side. that was a tip tap. That's literally just lay it down. And I'm going to do a wash. And not wow. go into my eye with it. Oh my, that is beautiful. Do you feel like it's bright on you? Huh? It is bright. Do you, like, do you feel like it's really bright or do you feel like it's like just enough? I feel like it's just enough. It's just enough. Cause see, when I look into the mirror, all I see it is from here to about right here to the iris. I yeah. I see it out here in the outer corner where that darker color is. Can you get a little closer, Scott? I'm sorry. Just... I'm, I'm like, that is gorgeous. And it's not as like, um, uh, uh, what's the word? Yellowy as you, it almost kind of like. It comes a, more green. It's definitely yeah. more green. I like that a lot. Gorgeous. Are you okay? God, I yep. mean, do you, do, you, do you need a moment? It's okay. I'm gonna try. Oh, no, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh gosh, she's already crying, and now he's putting on mascara. <laughs> They're like, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, Marina. <laughs> Munira said she has never had this much fun watching someone applying eyeshadows and liner. <laughs> oh, thank you. So they're you. We are both very fun and nice. I was on the fence about this quad, Liz says, but I'm loving it and definitely wanting it. Brenna says, I think Scott is really getting into this. Love it. <laughs> I mean, if you, hey, go big or go home, right, Scott? Oh, look what I did. Oh, you did not. No. You. With our mascara. Oh, no. Let it sit there. Oh, my. Did y'all all know that? Just let it sit there. Let it sit. Let it dry. And then you scrape it off it's not aggressive it's an elegant green shade you have long lashes scott i do but they all kind of go for <laughs> lay down how is that scott <laughs> Oh, oh, Marie. I'm afraid to touch that. I'm afraid. I'm afraid Just to wait. mess it up. The gift of the month is out. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it is or not. Um, oh, look at you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I agree. I think it's so pretty, Eileen. The green is not scaring me. It's so fancy. Yeah, but it's like a it's like a um elegant fancy, you know? It's not like 
overpowering. I like that. Let's see. Eileen says the, that we need more get ready with me videos with Scott. <laughs> yes, Scott. This isn't the right shade. I don't think for me right now of concealer, but I want to, I just want to put a little on. Yeah, it's a little light. Yeah. Was that the three? Yeah. I don't know. It'll look good on you though. Yeah, I learned that trick to go all the way up past the eye, like to the brow with the concealer. Yep. And it makes you look like you have a facelift. Yep. Like serious. It really does like do crazy stuff. Like it really like fakes your, like it makes your eyes look like, like this. Yeah. See? Oh my gosh. It looks so good. I'm uh, looking into the camera. <laughs> yes. You look awesome. You should put a lipstick on like this half. On my eye? No. Oh, oh a lipstick know. on this half. Sorry. <laughs> Which one? Somebody's waking what up would... in their bedroom. I can hear her in there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Daddy's in drag. Leave me alone. <laughs> Wait. It's not... He's having a moment. <laughs> I may scare her. <laughs> you want to know a funny I'm story? I'm talking about my dog, ladies. I'm not talking about a child. <laughs> you want to know something funny, though? Okay. So when my kids were, like, little, l really little, I think it was Ben. He was probably, like, two. I don't know. So he was still in a crib, right? And so I had a face mask on. It was, like, a charcoal, like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Charcoal face mask. I don't know if it was, like, tinted, um, like, it was a purple it was purple it was like one of these ones that change colors or something i don't know oh it was a long time ago and it was a charcoal one and i go in there and so my face is like definitely like purpley you know right. like purpley um like a deep purple and he looked at me he started screaming oh he was scared like, him. i did scare him and i did i didn't think about it I just go on in and get him, and he's like, "Who are you?" Like, oh, what's your name, my mommy? <laughs> I sit there going, "Oh, I forgot I had this on." Well, there we are, ladies. Yes. So, which lipstick did you put on? Kiss up. Mm, it's good shape. Kiss up. Kiss up. I'm okay. I'm Everything looks good on Scott. Lipstick on eye. Now I'm his fan. Now he's so sweet. On my eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so hot. Fancy. I look good. <laughs> <laughs> See, don't you feel really good though, too? Let me get a little bit of my compact makeup. Uh oh, he's like, he's going no. for it. <laughs> He's like, all right, let's just finish it. <laughs> I love that. Can I just tell you, it is the most blurring product ever. It is fabulous. Like, I've never used such a blurring Wait, I did, product. did I do the right side? Did I do the no, right you side? No, I didn't either. do the <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not used to this makeup stuff. <laughs> I should the say problem. applying it <laughs> to myself. Because <On> <laughs> you're usually putting on other people. Right. It's like doing your own hair and doing someone else's hair, you know? Yeah. That kind of I think it's, it's, and also doing somebody else's mascara is a whole other thing too. Yes. And their eyeliner. I mean, I think you can do shadows and stuff like that all day long, but. When you go to like apply it on someone and then apply it on yourself, it's and I mean I've just been used to doing it um, on someone, not on right. myself. Right. It's all about perspective. Now I'm gonna grab. We don't make this little brush anymore. I'm sad about it. 
They're asking what shade are you using? Are you asking you know what? which? What, okay, so they want to say, okay, what is the boring product? So can you show what you're using? I'm using our compact, our Future Skin Compact Skincare Foundation. It's just launched. It's a water-based foundation. Uh, it has a bionet peptide um, that actually helps address uh, the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. There is also a blend of sugar polymers, a network, or it's actually like a network of sugars that actually acts as a makeup uh, primer and it protects your skin against pollution. So it's skincare uh, built into the foundation. Uh, Water-based and it really kind of just blurs out any imperfection in the skin mm -hmm. um, without it looking heavy. Yeah, um, it is. So. It is the craziest product, I have to say, because when you first apply it, you're like, am I, is, is it, is it going? Is it the right color? Yeah. Yeah. Is it, is it like, okay. And then you just keep going and then you're like, what? Like you you kind of do a double take because you're sitting there going oh my gosh, like my skin looks really good right now. <laughs> you know, like it's the, I mean, like, the thing. It's, I don't like, I, personally, I don't like wearing makeup. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just don't like to feel like I have anything on my face. That's right. why, like even my skincare, it's very, like I have to be very careful about a texture of like a lotion or cream or anything like that. Um, uh, because if it's, if I'm going to feel like I have it on my face afterwards, then, um, I'm not going to like it. I don't want to feel like I have anything on my face and I don't feel like I have anything on my face when I wear this. I have a new one. I thought I'd you, say it. Okay. You got the limited edition aluminum packaging. And I did that on purpose. So pretty. So I could travel really, you know, yeah. not worry about it. Break. Like, I love the right. glass, but I like the glass on my vanity. Right. Like, this is such a great travel because it's aluminum yeah. and I can, like, refill it. Yes. And it's refillable. You just screw yeah. off the top. All right. Should just I? Off the top, I should say. All right. This is just, like, first spray. Everyone get their rose water. And, and this one, what I love is the actual sprayer. It's a, it's like a very dispersed mist. It's very fine. It's very yeah. light and it's right. wonderful. Ready? One, two. Oh, do I? Go. <laughs> Another thing you can do with a, thank you. Uh, let me turn oh, they want to see bronzer and blush. What would you use to complete the look? I mean, really, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we need to know. I mean, what would you do? I would do Serena bronzer. Um, now, do the other. I think I'll be exactly. I'll get to walk Edie in just a little bit. Um, out here in the dark, <laughs> dark park. Um, Future skin cushion makeup for the win. Let me show you a little trick though. Get you a beauty blender, spray it with rose water. Okay. Oh, this is a new trick. Rose water, dipping it into the cushion makeup. And it actually, look at the coverage that that gave. <gasps> what? That is cool. Wow. I didn't think about that. That's a good idea. Manira asked when the powder release, when is the powder releasing? April the 15th. What was, was the whole? Go ahead. That was a whole fiasco last weekend on Instagram. Like somebody <laughs> got an image somewhere from someone that they weren't supposed to. Oh no. And I don't mean you. I don't mean you. 
No, you're okay. Someone somewhere got a hold of an image that we're like, that's how it's supposed to be out. Oh. Um, but yeah, it'll be April. Oh, uh, no. Am I telling the correct information? Oh, my God. You said April 15th. Did I say April 15th? Yeah. Did I hear that right? Hold on one second. Let me hold it. Hold the press. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Let me go back. Yeah. Did that's what I said? That's what you said. Okay. Then that's right. April 15th. Um, the powder. Now, is that yes. the same as this one? Or no? It's that's the, the hummingbird one from this past <gasps> time. Oh, yes. 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 I like this a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And I don't really like powder. Does the clat do? It's available, not available until 415, and then most stores will be 51. So, like, it will be on our website. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Eclat du. Eclat du. Soft shine. It's amazing. Just saying. Uh, it is pretty. Uh, but the perfect blur finishing powder that came out last uh, spring for the Hummingbird collection. It was in the orange compact with a hummingbird on the outside. Yeah, yeah. That's coming back out. Uh, it'll be available end of April. So pretty. And then the Eclat Brillant is gorgeous too. Did you see that one? Mm -hmm. The Eclat, it's the sister powder to that one right there that you have. The one, the gold shimmer. Yeah. I didn't see that. Oh. Where is that? Wait, did, did I miss this? What 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 did I miss? How did I miss this? <laughs> what are you just like this? See, hold on. Let's got my on. See, it even looks good with glasses. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Oh my. What did I there miss? Is another powder. There's a sister powder to the or there was a sister powder to the Eclat Du called Eclat Brillant. And it, um, is that the one with the flower? Mm -mm. It's the same compact that you have. It's the same compact that you have, except, um, it's more gold. <gasps> it's gone. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thanks, <gone>. Sorry. God. <laughs> He's like, um, oh, but it was, it was a highlighting. Don't worry, Jen. It was a gold highlighting powder. Yeah. Um, that was really, really pretty. I would probably do for myself, I would have done for my skin tone, I would have done Serena bronzer, uh, the real bronze and the red mm -hmm. compact. And then probably I would have done emotion. Well, I probably would have done bliss blush, mm -hmm. um, which is more of it's that very soft pink and it's a butterfly too. Um, and then probably I would have done his, uh, no, I would have probably done clover for this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I like it a lot. <laughs> oh, is it oil free? It's not marketed as oil free, uh, but it is a water-based foundation. Okay. Oh, you got that. Oh, it's perfection. Right. It Move is. Right. I mean, just oh. look at that. It looks really Eight good. Shades. Thank you, Sheila. Eight shades. Um, so a wide range of shade options for people. We have Aura, which is the lightest, then Alabaster, then Vanilla, then mm -hmm. Nude, then Wheat, Agave, Espresso, and then finally Mahogany. Uh <laughs> I love the rose water too. Catching up. Oh, okay. Okay. Here. Let me show so there you. is a trick. There's a trick to this. So you take the top off, of course, and then you grab a Kleenex or a paper towel and you put it over it and you grab it with, you grab the, the nozzle, the, you grab the base of it. Yeah. 
with the paper towel or the Kleenex and you wiggle back and forth and it comes right off. I had to like call you to figure out what I was doing. Yeah. You gotta grab a Kleenex or a paper towel and just grab it like with both fingers and just wiggle back and forth and it'll come right off. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's friends. Oh, they want to see an Edie sighting. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Okay. <laughs> oh, and the compact future skin cushion foundation, future skin cushion skincare foundation. Let me get it right. Um, as you can see, there's an elephant on the outside. Each one that is sold, we give money to, yes, it's coming out on tax day. Uh, I've already done my taxes. Um, super proud of myself. Um, we will donate a bottle of formula to the elef baby elephants at the Shelter Wildlife Trust. And each one comes with a refill. So when you get your box, it's a larger box, realize that your compact will have one in there. Yeah. And then you take it out and you're going to see a picture of an elephant. You pull that up and there's your refill. Um, you have another refill in there. So don't throw the refill away. So I'll go get Edie. Yay! Yeah, so mine is the same. Mine it has um, the refill too. But each, I believe, well, let me see. Oh, do I have it right here? I thought I did. Each compact, I think, is eight. Is an eighth? Is it an eight month shelf life? I want to say. Um. Hold on. <clears throat> Excuse hi, me. Hi, darling. Yeah. Can you recognize your daddy? Hi. Hi, sweet girl. Yeah, so each one is an eight month shelf life. So that's 16 months. Yeah. And I've already washed this. What would you say the best way to wash this is? And do you uh, sell these separately? So, like, if I wanted to. Sell them separately. Hi. Okay. I'm going to put some lipstick on you. Um, <laughs> hi, darling. I know. Um, they, okay, so you can sit here. Just be nice. It's okay. <laughs> I got you. Um, because I love this sponge. I haven't washed mine yet, so I honest to God can't really tell you. But I think, like anything that, um, I think there you could do like a facial cleanser, like any kind of foaming face wash, or like just whatever you have right there at your sink. Just okay. be very gentle with it, and you do need to give it at least 24 hours to dry. So, yeah, yeah. And Brenda, I always like to um, announce any new releases on Instagram. I do that there on my stories as well as on YouTube. We have like a little community tab too. And we have a Facebook page if you want to if you want to join the Facebook page. I we always talk about things like that there as well. It's a little bit more, you know. Um, um, it, like we just we we just chit chat like you know like friends you know <laughs> it's, 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 it's fun so just let me know I can leave the link and stuff in there for the Facebook page anyone who wants to join the Facebook page you're more than welcome to join it is um it's just a lot of fun and it is a private Facebook page so I just have to like let you in whenever yeah. you ask to be in let's see. Is the Eclat Dew Powder only going to be limited because I like that one as well? Yeah, Pam. it's actually, it's out of production, so we have what's left. No! I know. I know. So Why? get grab it while you can. Um, it's so good. Yeah, you know, we went through this, and those of you that are on here that I work with, we, you will all agree, we have gone through this period of these limited edition powders. And they are some of the most beautiful powders, but I think we finally have the powers that be have finally listened to us. And so that's why the uh, well, perfect blur finishing powder is coming back. And it's going to come back also, in, it's going to come in two shades. So there'll be a light to medium and a medium to dark. Like, look how gorgeous that is. I mean, no. it's like the no powder powder look. It's actually not powder. I mean, I, I I'm not a big powder. Person. I don't like, I don't powder. like powder. Yeah. But I love, I love our powders because they're so soft. They're so finely milled that yeah. they, they don't look like powder on the skin. Like even our HD perfecting powder, our tried and true that's been around for a while. Yes. 
It's wonderful. Our light loose powder, it's talc free. It's beautiful. We also make the HD perfecting in a loose, um, a matte blur, and then candlelight, which has just a little bit of a glow to it. I think it's I'd really, like really candlelight. Candlelight. I love candlelight. Oh, I think I need to pick that up. I think I might, I might need to do that. That candlelight sounds really nice. Powder will be permanent, the new ones. Not That's permanent it. packaging, but the powder will be permanent. Because nice. I'm not going to, if you saw the powder this past weekend. Um, oh, she thought it was going to be pastels, like the pastel and the powder. Love the powder. Game changer. I know. I have the hummingbird, but we'll get it again in a new package. Yeah. It's so pretty. The new oh, they love change. your puppy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so kind. Um, it's okay. Let's see. I have the highlighter same packaging. Yeah, so that's, uh-huh. Oh, it's still on the website on the highlighter page. Oh, hold on a second, Eileen. Lily, but um, Lily, but she got the vanilla shade of. Did you get the vanilla of the um, compact? Oh, there it is, a Claude Briant. Stop it! Is there? Yeah. Can't Which one is cool tone? Is a cool tone. Uh, are you speaking to the, um, this? Sorry, I, I, you were a little behind on the comments, so I want to make sure I answer. we answer your questions. Liz, response to popping the rose water nozzle. Wow, mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> Which shade is cool to end? Okay, sorry. We'll, we'll get to it. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my God, everybody. Did y'all send out an email? Like, seriously. <laughs> oh, they love I your I'm going to kill my coworkers. <laughs> but they, we just love you, Scott. I love y'all, too. <laughs> She's so cute. Hi, Edie. They say hi to you, girlfriend. We'll come back yeah, up here. So fun. We love you so much. Hi, Raina. Hi, Raina. Hi, oh, what's the name of the Facebook page? Um, I'll I'll put a whole link for you. So let me grab the link so that um, you guys can. Um, let me throw that in there real quick. Let's. It's called Just Glow with It. Isn't that fun? One of love it. and um, one of my followers uh, actually she thought of it, and I was like, that is such a good idea. Good dad. All right, let's see. Let's see. Rice and geranium foaming cleanser works perfectly to clean the poo. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, nice. Oh, you get an extra sponge in the refill. Thank you, Angela. I haven't opened it yet, so I, I, don't, I didn't know for sure. I just got a picture from um, yeah. a coworker. Uh-huh. She made a collage of the evening. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that if this ends up somewhere on social media, <laughs> the Kraken will be released. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just Love the powder. Saying. Oh, Marie asked if there's any code or gift with purchase. There is not at this time. Um, we do have some things coming down the pipe, uh, some other events. Um, we actually have a masterclass that's going to be going on. Uh, and Lisa, who's on here, she's going to be part of it. Um, it is actually going to be, Lisa, when is, oh, February the 11th. So next Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Um, go on, I believe you can go on to our website or you can go to Eventbrite and sign up for the Chantakai eye class. So it's all about shimmer and spring eyes. And it's going to be uh, Lisa, who's on here talking, who actually was the one who made the collage. Um, <laughs> so if she's not on the master class, y'all will know why. Because oh. <laughs> I took her out. <laughs> um, and then Janelle, along with, I believe, Stasia as well. So February the 11th, next Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern, there's a master class. So please go sign up. And there will be, um, Lisa, you can tell us if you're still on here. Um, 
what um, the goodies will be. Yeah, Lisa, if you're here. You know what, Christy, let me find out about that. Um, that is it. We need to take care of that. So let me find out. I will follow up um, uh, with our office in New York and make sure that that is um, available. I do know that during the master class, we have a person in the back of the house, so to speak, that is posting each product as they use it and talk about it in the comments section. Okay. And it has the link for you to be able to click on the link and it'll take you straight to um, our yeah. website uh, to look at the product. Uh, so I know that we do do that. Uh, but as far as each thing that is said, probably not, but they're going to be demoing and talking about the products. Uh, but I will follow up about that. Did you say, okay, is it the 11th or Friday? Cause I think those are two. I think the 10th is wait. Next Friday, you said? Today's I'm sorry, the next Thursday. Okay. Next Thursday, is it? Yes, next Thursday on the 11th. Sorry, I said Friday. February the 11th, Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern, there is a shimmering, all about shimmering eyes masterclass um, with Lisa, uh, Stasia, and Janelle. So go to eventbrite.com and I'm going to try to find it. Is it on your uh, Shantikai website? Let me look I'm here right now. Cause I, I, we can throw a, a link in there. Look how pretty the website is right now. To the little butterfly. Yes. In the little corner. You guys, oh, hold on. I got to show this. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Let's see. There is actually a gift. There is a gift that's up right now. With a $225 purchase, you get our Rice and Drain and Foam and Cleanser Hibiscus Smoothie Mask and a Flower Harmonizing Cream. Um, let me see. Oh, you have to go to Eventbrite. I'm listening. Look how gorgeous this is, you guys. Look at that little, little, look at the little, uh, Butterfly. Oh my so that God. little butterfly is one of the ones that you can get as a giffy. <laughs> a gif. Um, what about this one? Yeah, they're all on there. Are they? There's different. There's like six different, six or seven different ones. Oh, that is pretty. So you guys, so we were talking about that powder. Hold on, let me just go. Now I'm like. <laughs> Now I'm, I'm like, this is that powder you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's it. Mm, that's pretty. That is gorgeous. And you're saying that this other powder, the one I, this is the one I have, guys, that right here, the Eclat Du. It is amazing. And then, so which one were you saying was the, okay, so this is the talc free loose powder. Oh no. Loose powder. It's out of stock right now, but some of our stores across the country have it. Okay. Um, is this you can the, call it like Neiman's or Nordstrom? They have it. But um, this isn't the one you were saying that was the luminous finish? No, that one go up. HD Perfecting Loose Powder Candlelight. Ooh, it's in a pretty, like, it has a brush. Yeah. So it's a self-dispensing um, powder. Nice. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yay. Okay, let me see. No, go to. Give you my good eye. Your good eye. Let's see. At the bottom of the page, click virtual and in-store events. Oh, it's not current. Eileen says. Uh oh. If you go to Eventbrite, go up into the top and search. Okay. And you just type in Shantikai, it'll pop right up, and you can sign up for it. Thursday, February the eleventh, uh, from five to six p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. And I'll try to find the link, guys, and then um, 
and I'll put it in the description box so you guys can have can see that. Yeah. I know, Angel. It looks so pretty. It caught <laughs> Brian. It, it is gorgeous. It is the most um, beautiful illuminating powder. We also, I think we finally sold out of the Payette. The one oh, the yeah. The, yeah. Did you get one? Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. There will be other beautiful. There will be others, yes. <laughs> You have the both the powder and the highlighter. Ah, yes, it is beautiful. I'm I'm like loving that. So, all right. So Scott, let's round it up. So which one? Okay, if you. Okay, if you were saying, um, all right, I have a very fair skin tone. What would you say from the new collection would be your like your pick, like from a lip and like the eye, stuff like that, and then like if the lips like just medium went off into my kitchen sink. Hold on one second. <laughs> into a glass. Oh my god. Is it okay? It's okay. It okay. Just, good. I was like, did it go down the disposal? Oh no. So if you're like, can we do like fair, like medium yeah. and then like deeper, like yeah. what would you suggest? Yeah. And then like what kind of, um, from the new collection, I think that might be really, really nice to do too. Yeah. So for a, from a fair perspective, I would definitely do clover lip. Okay. Which is a more pink shade. Yeah. Um, really pretty. Okay. Um, and definitely doing the eye quad or eye quartet. Yeah, um, you can definitely do it as you could see on me earlier, like just doing this is very soft. You could even just do that on the lid and up into the crease or do the two together. Right. Keeping it very simple uh, for a very soft, sophisticated look. And then, of course, you can definitely go into the darker shade and definitely using the triple chrome to kick it up a notch. Right. Um, I definitely did it dramatic. Um, and then for kind of a medium warm tone i would definitely do peach blossom on the okay uh, it's definitely more of a warm coral um, okay but it's still soft it's still very very pretty mm -hmm. what about then, olive do you think that looks really good on an olive yeah undertone? really yeah. pretty on olive skin yeah and that'll be a pretty lip chic to go even into summer yeah um, oh yeah and then for a squirrel bell and a little almost reminds me of that like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Coral mm -hmm. Bell has a little bit more pink. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit more orange. That Got it. Sense. Yeah. And then for your deeper, darker skin tones, definitely doing hyssop. Yes. Um, deeper, richer skin tones. It's going to be kind of a deeper, it's going to be a nude mm -hmm. um, on deeper, richer skin tones. But I think definitely that would be the lip to go. And then, um, you know, just playing with the eyes and really creating a look that you want. Um, I know there's a video of one of our models that's using it and they have it washed all over her lid, the green. Mm. It's just so pretty. Yeah. So what, okay, I have one more question. Yeah. So I have a couple lip glosses. Can I tell you this lip gloss is like one of my favorite formulas because I think it's just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So. This one is um, light, and I have this one, which is classic. I love classic. I just, I put it on between. I don't know if you noticed, but um, which, like, if I was to use light, could I throw that on over? Any of them. Any of them, you think? Honestly. Okay. I mean, especially on clover or hyssop, if you want to lighten it up. Right. Um, and then classic would be really pretty, probably on top of peach blossom or hyssop. Oh, yeah. 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 We make one called Pixie, which is my personal favorite. Um, oh. that I'm that we it's just this really pretty paint, but it's just gorgeous. Yeah, I have um, the classic and life, and then I have one other one, love. Love, love. Okay, so think of love. Love is just the really soft, kind of a, a milky pink. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Hold on. I have it. Yeah. Think of uh, Pixie is a little bit more color than that. Oh, okay. Like um, like deeper pink? 
like a deeper, a little bit brighter, a deeper, brighter paint. Okay. But nice. these lip glosses are sheer. They're not going to give you like an opaque color. It gives you that yeah. wash of color on the lips. Um, look how pretty that is. Yeah. And they're um, super hydrating. And they're, are they sticky? Mm -mm. Not sticky. They're just smooth. Very smooth. And I feel like they, like, you know, how, like sometimes as you, sometimes as you continue to, you know, be 29 over and over again, your lips tend to have these like little lines. Like this seems to smooth over them. I don't feel like you can see it that much. It's, you know what I mean? I'm taking a picture of my, to my boss. I'm like, just know what I do for work. <laughs> when would there be a release of a butterfly bracelet? That is a very good question. Actually, right around the corner. Uh-oh. We're going to have a crane. We're going to have a zebra. <gasps> and we're going to have a butterfly. Oh, I love that. So keep your eyes out. It'll be um, fairly... Let me just make sure they're not up now. Oh, uh-oh. Are they there? Are they there? Let's see. Is the ES palette deep skin friendly? ES. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. ES. What do you mean, ES? Eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, like, yeah, because you have the triple comb, it's definitely going to be, it will highlight. It will definitely uh -huh. brighten. Um, if you get into, if it's a, like a true, like a, um, like a true mahogany, I don't think that these will be, they will show up that much. Uh, but the highlighters definitely, I think even the peach would be pretty on the lid. Uh, mm -hmm. it would be a very new natural looking eye. Um, it just depends on how deep you're talking about. Like if it's in a mahogany, like a dark, darker skin tone. I probably um, wouldn't go this route, um, mm -hmm. but the green would definitely be beautiful on the lid. Yeah. Oh gosh, so pretty. It is very um, much. And so. the charm bracelets. But if you're like a um, a wheat or um, a suntan in our future skin, if you wear that foundation, then definitely, yeah, it would. Yeah, Munira, what which um what shade are you? Yeah, I think even like I I mean Yeah, we I, don't have the bracelets up yet, but they are not, coming. Like we literally heard this week that we're getting a butterfly, we're getting a, a crane and a zebra. She's tan. Okay. Tan and yeah. um just skin? Yes, then definitely this will be beautiful on you. Yeah, very pretty. So something for everyone with palette. So like all skin types you could wear it. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Please release the green as an individual shade. I know. You think? Maybe? Maybe. You never, never know. know. You never know. What about these tri trichromes? Like, do you think they'll, like, maybe um, I, I mean, other, other types of things like that? Let me tell you, like, I'll be honest. Um, our polar ice palette that came out spring of, like, three years ago. Yeah. Um, I, we were, I think everybody, we were like, wow, we didn't see this coming. And it, I, I personally loved it. Now it's definitely, it had like a pinky purple shadow. It definitely had some shades that were not what we normally come out with, Yeah, yeah. but they're always fun. Um, so yeah. I think since that palette, they're trying to add that fun, uh, part of it in there. And that's something that's a little unexpected. Yeah. It's going to keep you on your toes and stuff. So it's something that we can, everybody can wear. You yeah. Know? Even your more mature eyes, you know, when you look at this green, you're like, there's no way. It's all about strategic placement. It's all about where you put it, how you wear it. Yeah. I mean, you eye, well, yeah. And your eye looks so much bigger. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, in like blue, I can't get over it. Yeah. It looks really good. Thanks. You did an amazing job, Scott. I better. I've been doing this for over 20-something years. I better. I mean, 
But as I, I only did the one eye. Now, if we got over here, I'm not so sure how that one would have turned out because I'm, I'm not that great on this side of my face. She'll be stalking the page so that she can uh, see to make sure the bracelets are in. Oh, thanks. Oh, Sheila, thank you. Sweet, thank you. Polar Ice is still her favorite, Angela's favorite. It looks great paired with a more neutral even day. Yeah, it was so pretty. And the texture, that texture is very similar to this texture. Okay. Yeah. Very welcome. Thank you, Lilibet. Y'all have any other questions? Let us know. If so, I'm waiting. Scott, you were Make a gander because this is the last no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe one of the only times you see me in half drag. <laughs> At least my eye. Oh, thanks. Thank Christy. you, Christy. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Scott, so much. My pleasure, always. You have always. no idea. Like, thank you. You have helped us all. Oh, good. No, seriously, it's it's really, really nice and very thankful for you. Thankful for you, too. You're one of the things that was definitely a highlight and a bright moment last year for me. Oh, thank you, Scott. Same. Oh, my God. Stop it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. The beautiful green and soul as it, so it as a permanent shadow, just like zebra green. Oh. We that do is a green in that. Yes, like that. I mean, we have rhino, but it's a dark yeah, that's topi. Like, doesn't count. That doesn't count. No. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the yours are fun. Oh, for saying you'll check into the master. Yes. Thank I you. Christy. Actually, I'm going to do it right now. Oh, thank you both. So fun and informative. I learned so many tricks from you tonight, Scott. Well, good. I'm glad. Thank you so much for being a good sport, Scott. Oh, Raina, thank you both, Kelly and Ryan. <laughs> was she the one? Were you the one that did this? Said that. <laughs> she did. Ryan secret. Are you talking about Ryan Secret? Ryan and yes. Kelly? Yes. She said that she's the one we reminded her of them. That is hilarious. How funny is that? Oh my gosh. I'm like so oh my gosh, so funny. So thank you, Scott, so much. Appreciate you. Thank you for sharing all of your knowledge and wisdom. We appreciate it so much. And course, have a blast while doing it. <laughs> have a good weekend, everybody. Take care. Have a good weekend, y'all. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>